Well, it was quite a rough finish to race three and photographs all round for the first two placings and the uh, third and fourth. Um, so quite a close finish between between all of them. But it goes the way of number three, Rewrite the Stars, ridden by Craig Zaki. Craig, very, very well done. As I said, that was qu quite a hectic finish. It was a bit rough. Yeah, it was. Um, geez, the whole day was a bit rough. I literally just got to the jock room uh, five minutes before the race. Had to rush to get settled up. And yeah, I'm just glad I made it. Uh, but unexpected winning. <laughs> but she's actually a lovely, fully progressive, still immature, long and lanky, but that's going to get better when she gets stronger. Yeah, I think it was the case for most of them here, the way, the way they panned out in the finish, bumping into each other. But yeah, it was a good win, wasn't it? She'd had the three runs and made huge improvement today. Yeah, look, and she didn't have the jaw. I made her work a bit to get over a spot. Um, I needed her to use her action. I uh, didn't want to cramp her behind the field. And she learned and she fought them off gamely. And I think there's some nice signs that the owners are going to have fun with her in the future. And trip-wise, sort of this trip maybe a bit further? Yeah, definitely. She's a filly who's going to go 10 furlongs and going to see the best of her then. Well, you've certainly hit the ground running today. And uh, your rides for the rest of the afternoon, have you got some nice rides to look forward to? Yeah, nice rides. Um, I've got Athalia and uh, Padre Pio in the features. They're both really nice horses. And <laughs> I'm hoping they can run their hearts out. And nice little filly in the last Mississippi burning. I rate her quite highly, and I think she'll, she'll bring her A game today and give a good run for her money. Hopefully you can relax a bit now and enjoy your rides for the afternoon and, and find the winner's box again. Very, very well done. Thank you. Well done to Mr. Crawford, his whole team, uh, great training feed, to the owners, uh, Mr. Dawson, Mentor, well done, and Hunt again to my sponsors, my Fun team, Walker Bush Drift. Thank you. Very well done to you. Top ride. Coming through is uh, Michelle Ricks. Michelle, uh, well done to you and your father, Harold, and all the family. I see your brother's one of the part owners as well, so that's fantastic. But she'd had the three runs, and you'd have to say she was still looking to improve a bit, but she's done a great job today. Listen, P, she was very unlucky last time. Um, you know, she missed the break. She got into a little bit of trouble, and we were always very confident throughout the week. She's a good filly. She shows, she shows it at home, and... There was, I mean, we had probably one horse to beat, but we were very confident. And I'm glad to all the owners. It's my brother's first horse, his first winner. Barry, who's always eluded the winners by not coming, he's made it today. And to Craig Zaki, um, he got into the jockey room just in time, and he got to the post just in time as well. It was uh, plenty of nerves all around, because as you said, the jockey got here just in time. And then, obviously, you had to wait a few minutes to, to find out what the finish was, but uh, very, very exciting. Yeah, no, um, a great ride. I said to him, as long as you can get the filly over, that's what counts. And um, she likes the clear running. She's got a good, she's got a good stride and a good action on her, and let her go. Yeah, and as I said, she showed a lot of guts because there was quite a bit of scrimmaging going on in the finish there. And, and chatting to Craig, he thinks um, she possibly go a bit further as well. Yes, yeah, she's definitely going to go further. And um, you know, obviously, we've got to get through all those steps. And I'm glad that she beat a competitive field today. And you're doing a top job at home because I think you had a you had a winner in, in the week and now another winner today. So very well done. Yes, thanks so much, B. Coming through are the winning owners. Very, very well done. Um, Michael, first in your colours. Yeah. First uh, winner in your colours. Fantastic. Uh, I could see the excitement on all your faces when you f finally found out you'd won. No, it's great. I mean, we, we punters, our mates are here at Kenilworth Racing. Our fellow punters are here, so it goes out to them. It's the first time I've been here. We've had three winners, and this is our fourth, and it's the first time I've been here, so it's, it's turned. And Michael chose a great horse. I've known the Crawford family for many years, and you know what? It's it's lacquer. I'm so chuffed for them, and I'm so chuffed for all of the guys out there who come and punt and support Kenilworth all the time. And well done to you, Michael, because it's a real family affair, isn't it? You all make so much effort and put in so much hard work back at the stables. Yeah, it was great. We're in a very privileged to have a share with my dad and my sister and some great owners. Yeah, well done to you all, and uh, you're looking pretty thrilled as well. And for me, the biggest cheers for tomorrow, for Adol's birthday tomorrow. Adol, happy birthday for tomorrow. But thanks again, Crawford Stable. Thanks, all good. Well said. Happy birthday, Harold, for tomorrow. That was a great birthday present uh, a day early, but very, very well done. Well done to all the Crawford team. That was a great win. Number three, Rewrite the Stars. It, as I said, it was quite a scrimmage there in the finish, but Rewrite the Stars showed plenty of guts to take the spoils.